Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Sam of the League of Nerdy Gentlemen. This is Star Wars Battlefront. Yes, the beta is upon us. And boy, I'm, I'm, in, I'm impressed. Uh, this is the literal first thoughts you get in here. I played one mission, I played one game, and this is, this is entirely first thoughts. Everything's subject to change. I may do an update video, but this is the initial impressions of the beta, inverted commas, of the game. So this is an EA beta, so as we all should know by now, this is not a beta, this is a demo. This is a little bit of the game that we've got a little bit early for free, and that's nice, but it's a demo, it's not a beta. Just stop trying to get people excited by calling it a beta. Maybe have an actual beta once in a while, and people will get even more excited. So, first off, this is a PC version. I want to talk about the, the PC port, essentially. I'm a PC gamer. That's what's important to me, that everything's running smoothly. So you first off go to the settings menu. This was clearly devised, you know, with a controller in mind. Let's be honest here. Let's not kid ourselves. But it works. It looks... I actually quite like it. I don't think it's the, the most functional menu I've ever seen, but it, it works, whatever. Um, if I dip into audio, you've got your basic audio settings. It's not a wide range of stuff. I'd like to see individual audio sliders, uh, but... Um, having the output configuration is nice, and having which type of speakers you've got is nice, and... But there needs to be more there. Video settings is there's there's things that are missing, but it's good. So um, first off, it's really great that we got th four types. If you count off as a colorblind mode, you got four types of colorblind mode. That's fantastic. Absolutely great. Going into uh, the options, you can sit, select which monitor you want it on. Resolution. Uh, I can only get it up to 1080. I, you could go higher. Um, I don't know, but my monitor is 1080, so it only goes that high. Same with the refresh rate. I can only go to 60 because 60 hertz. Uh, full screen, window, window borderless, standard for that's nice. V sync on or off, fantastic. Field of view, Woo! FOV slider. <laughs> so <laughs> actually, the game worried me slightly because it defaulted to 55, which is weird. You can go all the way low to 44, and. Um, I'm slightly concerned that the consoles are stuck on that, uh, which would be a, be a damn shame. You can go all the way up to 110, which is fantastic. Uh, love that. More games. Take note, please. FOV slide is all the way up to 110. I play about 100 because I, I quite like that. Motion blur. Now, this I actually quite like. I wish more games would adopt that. The amount of motion blur you want. I usually turn this straight off. Just, just off. Not bothered about it. I decided to keep it on at the default 50% this time because I was like, this is nice. I kind of want to see how I can adjust how the motion blur looks. I'm not sure how this is going to look at the capture because motion blur can fuck things up with YouTube. But I'm going to keep it on 50 just to see how things are. Resolution scale, I don't actually I don't actually know what that is. Uh, so it's nice that we got these little hints at the side. I think uh, it was Shadow and Mordor that really started that off. And more games definitely take note. It's just the internal rendering resolution values for 100% increases. But, ah, well, there you go. Fair enough. The graphics quality, I, I just kept it to default because it recognized that I got a 980 Ti and it's put everything on Ultra. Um, I'm not going to bother changing all that, but you know, it's it's a, it's a decent range. Such quality, such filtering, lighting quality, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mesh quality, that's always nice to have. Just the extra little details that you, you tend not to, to get. AA, you know, there we go. Um, so standard, I mean, you'll know if you're a PC gamer what's missing here. But it's nice, it's not bad. Could be better. But it's by no means bad. So, there we go. That's nice. Um, so, let's dive into the game. If we can get one. Um, this is this is about... Let me check the time. As a time recording, the beta has been live for three hours. And I struggled to get into a game earlier. So, I'm going to try it. I'm going to go into Walker Assault. Because that's the that's the mainstay of this. Wow, instantly in. <laughs> nice. So... Yeah, no, I'm going to talk about it as the game goes on, which could be a dreadful thing to do, playing an FPS, that I will admit I'm not great at. But blah, 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 we'll, we'll go into this. Um, the, the, the first thing I can say whilst this is loading is that I only have good things to say so far. Okay, now before we go into the game, uh, take note, uh, there will be visual customization, that's not available in the beta, that's dumb. The amount of weapons is tiny. Like, I mean, you unlock this one at rank 5, so I'm guessing there is a lot more weapons going to be in the game. Because this is a bit shoddy. Because I'm all, I will admit I'm already a little bit worried that there's not going to be enough playability in this game to keep people coming back. That was that was the worry with Titanfall. And then nobody plays Titanfall anymore. You know, it's... it's so it's, it's a worry. It's a definite worry. 
uh, that there's not enough in this game. Maybe once the customization's in there, it'd be a little, a little bit better. With what we've got at the moment, I can't see many people... It's, it seems harsh to say, because this is... I'm, I am happy with it. I am. I need to say this now. I'm happy with this. But I'm worried, <laughs> is all. I'm worried that it's going to die uh, almost as quick as Titanfall did. But the original Battlefronts didn't, and they had less in them. So that's, that's okay. So here we go. Before I dive into the game, I'm going to be an immediate fucking... Just lost. I've never played Rebels before, as so this is all new. I want to talk about the fact that you've got this hand. I should have got done to this in the customization... You unlock uh, a currency at the end of each game. You can spend that currency on cards. That is uh, goes towards your side abilities. Like if you force the E3 stuff, that's the jetpacks and things like that in the game. Okay, let's go. I'm only going to be showing off first-person gameplay in this. Um, it's great that you can choose between the two, I think, because obviously the original game had the ability to do so. I'm going to be playing... Whoa! I'm going to be playing in first-person because that's how I always play in the old Battlefronts what I'm used to. I think it's better. Wow. <laughs> this is really late game we've started in here. This is this is bad news. I might have to play a second game just so we go. So this is right at the end. Um, you might have seen at the start of the game that there was a, a slight little objective screen. But basically, uh, most of the objectives for this, in fact all the objectives for this, really come from uh, the Imperial side. For Rebels, it's just entirely... It's defend. Defend, defend, defend until you cannot possibly defend anymore. Um, so they push us right back. The ATATs, hello, will be walking. Hold on, why couldn't I shoot that? I'm, I'm sure you're supposed to be able to do some damage to that, but might, but that might be with A wings and stuff. Um, I'm there. I'm, I'm sp splivering words because I, you know, I, I'm having to think so many things at once while this gameplay. I sh maybe should have pre recorded this. Maybe, maybe pre recording would have been a good thing. Yeah, I want to try and show you as much as I possibly can. So this is right at the end of the game. They've pushed us right back. We've failed all these objectives. And they just need to get the AT, at basically over here before we can destroy the at -ATs. That is our constant, as a, a rebel, our constant objective is destroy the at -ATs, Just like the Battle of Path in the movie. Speaking of the movie... This bloody well feels like I'm actually in the Battle of Hoth. Now, this is something that the old Battlefront games... Obviously, the first two Battlefront games really did try to emulate the feel of being in a, in a big battle uh, in many of the battles that are in the movies. And this game will, because it's because it's playing to the, the fanboys, it obviously won't have any of the cool prequel battles that were in the... So it's going to have less battles in the old games. But what it lacks for in... Well, what it will lack for in the variety of the battles... It's hopefully going to make it for in the fact that these battles feel freaking huge. I mean, it's what? It's 20 versus 20. Not even 20 people in this. With the A-Wings going on, with the ATSDs, with the... I mean, even things like the Sky Drop just help. This feels insane. This is... Oh, wow. I'm doing so badly. The whole team is. I'm, I'm ashamed to be recording this right now. <laughs> Um, he feels fucking brilliant. I, I was uh, I was thinking that the, it was feeling like this um, when the E3 presentations were showed, and I'm so glad that it actually does feel like this in real life because I mean, you know, you know, we can't trust E3 anymore. It's fun. We all like to get excited at the E3, but you, you can't trust a damn thing when it comes to uh, uh, E3. So it's cool that I've. Uh... Oh, come on, we'll at least get a kill. This is awful. Um, oh, we, we lost. Failed to spawn. Yeah, thanks. That was awful. That was really bad. Let's try and get in this uh, once again, I suppose. So, yeah. Um, it feels grand. It feels really fucking huge, which is great, which is exactly what I wanted this game to do. Another plus side is... Um, is the servers seem to be really good now? I've I've in in the recent weeks I've moved house. Um, I'm going to university now. I'm living in a in a, a student house share. There's a lot of people using what is a 20 meg up connection, 20 meg up, 20 meg down, and it means that uh, the, the internet fluctuates a lot. It's it's not very good. Uh, I kind of I've kind of been wanting to record like Rocket League in the past few months, but um, it's just not been able to happen because. The, the, the pings all over the place. It, it was a connection all the time. I am yet 
to experiencing this with Battlefront. Now, maybe that's because there's no one in the house at the moment. I have no idea. I actually haven't checked. So maybe not many people are using the internet. Maybe it's just me. But it's been nice and it's been stable. Speaking of stability, this is ridiculously well optimized. Um, I haven't... Like, I, I have not noticed a single drop anywhere, no, ma no matter how crazy the, the matches have been getting, no matter how many lasers and explosions are going off at one time, I have never experienced a drop so far from 60. Now, I, I've got a 60 hertz monitor, 60 hertz range rate, 60 FPS is the maximum I can get anyway. I would... I am hopefully going to get a new monitor at some point, and um, because because I'm I'm almost sure this this game is running in higher, uh, you know, higher frame rates than this. Now, obviously, bear in mind, whoa. bear in mind, I have a 980 Ti. Uh, not everyone's going to have one of those. Um, I appreciate that. So just bear in mind when I say it's, it's really well optimized that I do have really good hardware backing me up. Having said that, a lot of games do get poorly optimized. Did I not use the... Oh, you've got a time limit on the... on the TIE Fighters. I thought that was a cooldown. Oh, I want to get in one of those because I've never been in one of those. So I can show it off literally first time. Oh! I'm going up there. Um, but yeah, the drivers just came out this morning. I mean, it's, it's rare. It's rare that EA, when they release a beta, they release the drivers along with it. So uh, maybe they're playing it safe. Maybe they really want this game to get good PR, and I don't blame them at all. So everyone has been a little bit on edge since uh, LucasArts went down, and we heard that, you know, EA were going to be taking over basically all of Star Wars. Ooh. Well... But it's, it's good. It's good. It's nice. Um, someone may have to update me. I may have to research this and throw it up on the screen if if, uh, uh, if I haven't already. Um, there's no microtransactions in the beta, nor should I expect there to be. Obviously, with these cards in, um, there's a potential for there to be microtransactions and skips and things like this. I know the pre-order bonuses are all... Um, they're all early access to weapons and power-ups and stuff. Uh, like the, the Han Solo Blaster, which has been promised as a pre-order bonus. Uh, on the origin page for this game, it says instant access. So I'm kind of assuming that you can get it in the game anyway. But so as far as I know, and I, I haven't been keeping too up to date with, with Battlefront, I'll admit, there's no microtransaction in this game and there shouldn't be. I'm going to hope not, but it's not, it's not too weird a thing now to see microtransactions in uh, AAA games, though it is still bloody disgusting no matter how many times it happens. I won't forgive it, and this game will also be getting shunned by me completely if it does do it. So what about the game then? I've, I've talked a lot about other things and, and scale and stuff. Well, the game plays great. The game plays fantastic. Uh, the guns feel like pea shooters. Uh, that's, that's, I would say, a problem. However, the original uh, Battlefront wasn't too much different. Uh, uh, and Star Wars also isn't really different to that. God, I'm doing so badly. I'm really ashamed of myself. Um, you know, this 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 is how the blasters fired in Star Wars. It's 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 a really accurate representation of that. Now maybe you would have liked. Uh, I, I shouldn't. I just shouldn't try. Uh, maybe you would have liked uh, more meaty gunplay. Um, and dispose of some film accuracies. But that's entirely up to you. I quite like the film accuracy one. It does make it easy. I know I've been dying a lot, but um, it does make the game fairly easy. Bear that in mind if you want a challenge. Uh, another thing to know, that's your health recharge. It's really bloody fast. Um, and it's an another thing that this game seems to be really trying uh, very hard to hit... Oh, I should have been quicker on that. To hit core, like, just everyone. Everyone should be playing Battlefront, and I, I, I think I agree. 
But, the, you know, it, to get that to happen, a lot of the game has had to be made really easy. Um, it, it's, it's, you know, your, your health recharges really fast, so all you need to do is get into some good cover. Your, your guns don't really recoil at all. So, yeah, it's... What's this? I want to get it. Well, I guess I can't. Um, so bear that in mind if you lack a bit more skill in your FPS, this perhaps isn't for you. However, if you are just a stupid Star Wars fan, like me, I think this will absolutely be for you. Because, <laughs> you know, who the hell... Oh. Who the hell wouldn't want to run around the Battle of Hoth with 88, like, two 8080s already on the map going about? 80s you can spawn in. 80 sts you can spawn in. And, of course, the ability to play as both Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Now, I've never seen anyone actually play as Darth Vader. I have seen people play as Luke Skywalker. Now, I haven't played it, so I don't know how um, it actually feels to play as Luke. I will admit. But, I do know that I there's one element of it that I really don't like, and that's... That's the fact that... Oh god, it's really hard to control this. I'm not a fan. It's obviously all on rails. I've played the battle pod, so that's not too bad for me. Um... Oh... Come here. Yes! Yes! That was fun! I'm so happy! <laughs> um... What was I saying? I, I, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, that was it. Um... I saw someone playing as Luke. And, um... I killed Luke Skywalker, which was fun. That's not something you get to say every day. Oh, why was I shooting the AT-ATs? I was an idiot then. The thing that I didn't like, however, was the fact that... Yes! I think I found my calling. Um, the thing that I didn't like is when the heroes spawn in, in order to let you know, in order, instead of having a... Well... Well... Instead of having a, a visual link saying, you know, Luke has joined the battle, or a hero has joined... Whatever. It has a music cue, and the music cue is, you might have heard it in a previous game, is the uh, the theme to Star Wars. It's immediately like, you know, dun, 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 dun. and all the music in this game is really well fucking timed. It's all John Williams, it's all really, really good. It's great fucking fun. But then, when the theme comes in to announce that, it breaks a bit of a flow. It feels like you've done something momentous, but actually, it, it could just be that the enemy has got Luke Skywalker on their side. <laughs> and, you know, that's, that's, that's not really a too much of a momentous thing for me. You know, unless I really just want to kill Luke Skywalker. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just like, I, I'd change that. What I'd say is I'd, I'd change it. I would say, I would, I would have it so that if you are rebels and you win, the Star Wars theme plays. If you are Imperials who win, uh, the Imperial March will play. And that, that's what I'd have it as. Simple as that. If you want to use those uh, two bits of music, I mean, the Imperial March hasn't been, I haven't heard it at all. But uh, if you want to use like, the Star Wars theme, that, that's how I personally use it. Personal grievance, uh, but it's been really bugging me because all the other music's used to great fucking effect. Um, like, lots of people use this arse term in gaming. A, a term I really fucking hate now. Uh, because of how it's used, and that's cinematic. And we've all heard it, you know, oh, this game's ringing in, in 30 frames a second because it's more cinematic. Oh, it's got black bars at the top and the bottom because it's more cinematic. Th that's bullshit. Yes, these are, these are techniques that, you know, cinema utilizes, but guess you, what you are? You're a fucking video game. Stop trying to be... See, there we go. See? What's actually happened? Have we got one? Is Luke in the game? I, I don't know. It doesn't tell me anything. It just plays the Star Wars thing. It annoys me. Um, so yeah, it's like, you're a video game. Stop trying to be cinematic. It's stupid. Now, I'm going to go on to commend this game for being cinematic. <laughs> now, it runs at 60 FPS, so it's not cinematic there. It doesn't have big black bars at the top and bottom. It's not cinematic there. How is it cinematic? Fucking... The way that, like, the mission is a story. The mission is a story that you define. And it's tense, and you've got to get, like, in the ways that you're watching a movie, and... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
<laughs> Actually, was very helpful though. <laughs> Would have died otherwise. Oh, there's Luke. Can I kill him? It's tough. It is a really tough kill the heroes. Nah, see. There he goes. Bye, Luke. Um, it's interesting how it feels because the missions are a story that you define. It, it's intense. You, you go to watch a movie and you root for the heroes to to accomplish their goals. It's the same thing here. You're rooting for your team to accomplish their goals. Now that might seem dumb because, like, well, yes, you, you're doing that in a game. You can do that in any other game. It's the scale that helps it work. It's you know. <laughs> It's the music cues that help it work so well. It's so much about this game, on top of the fact that it's so well, you know, it so well recreates the Battle of Hoth. I mean, I don't even think, I don't think you actually need to play this. For you to really get what I mean when I'm just like, when I say it really feels like you, you're there at the Battle of Hoth. You get it, surely you get it from this. This is just all the bits during the Battle of Hoth you didn't get to see. You know, when Luke was hanging upside down and stuff, this is what was going on elsewhere. And it's amazing! It's so cool! This is something the other Battlefront games couldn't do because of... Well, because of just when they were made. Since then we've learned and DICE are behind it and they've done, you know, a really fucking good job. That was amazing, just saying. <laughs> Yes. I've got to say, one of my favourite things in this game is storming into the Rebels' base. Just walking through the corridors and killing them all. Uh, it sounded a bit sinister. Uh, but by that, I just mean it's like, you really do feel Imperial at that point. It's really like, yes, I am a badass. I am in your base. Winning. Um, let's try the ATSTs. I've tried the ATATs. Let's try and right get one of those. They are slow. Uh, every, all the vehicles, I have to say this. All the vehicles apart from the ATST. Okay, I've immediately been denied. All the vehicles apart in the ATST are on rails. Uh, the ATAT is on rails. It's really slow, but you can call in orbital strikes. You've got the lasers there at the bottom. You've got the lasers at the top. Uh, one of them's rockets. One of them's just normal lasers. They're a little bit faster, but still ultimately quite slow. Let's see if I can. Nah. Um. But they're fun. Like, it's annoying that they're on rails and you don't get as, as much control as, you know, maybe you want and certainly I want. Uh, and you only, the at in particular, you only get it for a minute. Um, it, it, it does not feel like you get enough time. Oh, we've done really well. I just noticed the objective thing at the top. So far, it's, I, I, every Imperial has won. Uh, I, I won the first Imperial match I played. I lost the, the Rebel match I played. It seems really easy for the Imperials to win. Um, uh, but yeah, the ATAT, it's, it's slow, you only get a minute with it, but like, you feel the raw power. And I, I think the slowness actually helps, but again, that may just be me, you might feel like it's way too fucking slow, but like, it really does feel like you're in this hulking, stupid, large, giant of a beast. Uh, you are, you know, you are a massive threat to the Rebel Alliance, and um, that needed to come across. Whilst playing as the AT, definitely. Um, ooh, in the trench, please. Damn. Cycle rifles are really good. I really want one. Um, yeah, what else can I say? I've showed you off quite a bit. I kind of want to play another game to see if I can show you off the 88. Ooh, the 88s and stuff. But so far, I'm happy with it. Yes. Um, I mean, also, just look at this fucking game. I might actually play one of the single player missions for you, uh, just so you can get a better look at I mean, Snow, Snow is hard to get wrong. Still looks good, still looks great. Uh, yeah, I might play the single player level because that shows off some of the textures in the game much better. But this game looks gorgeous. It's so fucking good looking. Ooh, I can show you an at, -AT. No, I can't because this bastard's robbed it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it looks amazing. The skyboxes look great, all the textures look great, nothing has been skimped on here. Uh, I was constantly worried whilst there was promotional stuff for this game coming out that um, all, the, all the screenshots have been doctored. Because that obviously happens a lot. Um, where 
developers, well, not developers, publishers, Photoshop screenshots of games in order to make them look better, and uh, I kept feeling that like this was happening with Battlefront because I mean it looked too damn good. But here it is, looking too damn good. Uh, <laughs> Take that. Oh my god. No, no, no. Yes! We know the power of the dark side. Is that James L. Jones? Because it doesn't sound like... No! <laughs> Why'd you have to win so early? Oh my god, I was this close to playing Darth Vader. I would have happily ended it there. Showing you the Darth Vader thing. Happily ended it. I don't think that was James L. Jones. I don't even think that was a good James Earl Jones impression. I might have to listen to that back, but that was a bit worrying. It was like, you do not know the power of the dark side. Was, was that just my ears? That, did, that didn't sound right. Could you not just get James Earl Jones in? Could, that, could you not do that? Hmm. Okay. No, so yeah, I'm going to continue to play this, definitely. I'm going to show you single player missions, show you what those are like, and also show you off some of the textures, because, like I say, it's, 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 a, it's a good looking game. For sure, Um But yeah, I need to I need to play a lot more, because I'm, I'm in that initial sort of, Ooh, this game's amazing, sort of mood. And, um, who knows, uh, the, the hype might die down for me. I might start to realise all the, the different flaws. I may do an update video if I do. I haven't played Drop Zone yet. I might come back with another video about that, but I'm not really interested in it with it being, you know, 16 players, whatever, don't give a shit. Uh, survival. And we'll do single player. Um, but yeah, it's the, the main concern is, is uh, playability. Uh, how long are you going to be playing this game uh, is, is something I can't... I can't possibly really comment, I'm just going to go for this because it looks fun. Uh, you get a lot of um, hands as well with this, it's quite nice. I'm going to start with this one because I've already played with um, uh, the primary one with barrows and the jump pack, they're fun, I can talk about those, I want to try out the iron torpedoes. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, let me just skip this. But yeah, it, it could die. It could die quickly. The, the other Battlefronts obviously didn't do that, but that they came out in a different age, a very different age, um, where, you know, it, you didn't need to do a lot to keep people playing your game. People were just happy to play your game. Nowadays, there's so many games that you really do have to keep them in. So here we go. Look at this game. Look at the, te look at the textures. If I zoom, obviously, if I zoom in, that looks like arse. But look at this! Look how high res all these textures are! Look how amazing this looks! Ooh, oh if only they died so easily in multiplayer. There we go. Nice and fun. But this is fucking great looking! This is amazing! Um, so yeah, I'll um... So good. <laughs> I just can't, I, I can't get over it sometimes. So, so here's the thing, right? I'm going to talk about uh, this mode. I may not finish this mode on camera um, because I feel like I've talked enough um, about what I want to talk about and uh, I don't feel like there's a lot I can say past what I've already said. So I'll just talk about this mode and play it for a bit. Maybe I'll finish it, maybe I won't. Oopsies. So yeah, this is a single player, it's a horde mod, there's six waves. Each wave has a different objective to it. Sometimes power-ups spawn for you to get, sometimes a drop pod is dropped for you to capture. Nice. And each wave you complete, you gain... That was definitely a headshot, thank you. I believe you gain uh, a heart, and you can find hearts around the map uh, occasionally just by exploring. They are your lives. Um, you die, you lose a life. So here's a, it's very formulated, this game mode. Uh, to be honest, I think after you play it once, you probably won't play it that much more again, because you kind of, unless it's just to do the higher difficulties and 
train, I guess. I think once there's more missions in here, it will gain more, like, playability, but for now, I can't see you doing it more, like, more than once. So, yeah, you, the drop pod comes in, you've got to claim the drop pod, and an ATSD spawns on the map. Um, by, I think, the fifth round, the same thing happens. ATSTs and normal Imperial troopers also spawn. Now, I think the location... The location of the ATST has changed, I think. Um, beyond that, not a not a lot else. Um, let's get that shield up. Ion cannon. This is much easier with the ion cannon. I was doing it with barrage before; it was really difficult. Barrage is basically just um, it's like cluster bombs, basically. There we go. Nice and fun. That was really easy. Um, so yeah, and then it's just like... Blaster cannon. Shield. Cool. Um, you know, we'll stick with the shield. Because that will be useful in the last round. I picked up a rocket launcher from the first time I did that, and that was really, that was really quite helpful. Okay, snipers in this one. Yeah, it's just progressive. Like, I think once you once you learn the the formula of it, it's like it's not going to be too interesting to you afterwards unless you unless you just aim to learn it and then you know develop tactics and get better and better at each time. Which is it's, you know that's that's the point of the game mode for sure. I just can't see it interesting many people for too long. Maybe when the other missions go in, it'll be more interesting because uh, right now this one mission is all you get in the beta inverted commas. And you get two multiplayer maps, one of which I have not checked out yet because I do not believe it to be the meat of the game, nor do I believe people to really play it once it's out because everyone will be on the big 40 player maps. You know, because the, the, if the Battles of Stars are anything, they're fucking huge. And you need that to feel like that, and the Walker result does feel like that. However, here's the other issue. Now, we've seen footage, I think, at E3 of the Battle of Endor. It looked very scripted. Very scripted. Um, and that looked like it's got the same sort of power that I believe the Battle of Hoth does have on the player. It's an amazing experience and it's I want to keep coming back to it just to just to really feel like I, you know, I am there. Uh, if you haven't played the Star Wars Battle Pass, uh, or well if you haven't heard of it, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit now because um, I recommend you check it out. It's an arcade game, basically. Uh, yeah, those still exist, believe it or not. And it's a it's a capsule that you're entirely encased in, a fucking huge curved screen around you. And um, you are an X-Wing pilot. Or an A-Wing pilot. I, I think that you can play some Imperials as well, I can't remember. I only played as X-Wing to my uh, memory. And you've got, you've got a thruster, you've got a joystick, and you feel like you're in a fucking cockpit, and it's amazing. And the first thing I played was the Battle of Yarvin. Uh, you know, you do, they start the game off the Death Star run, and it's brilliant, and it's it's evil, because it's an arcade game. Which means, it's it, the whole purpose of it is to suck your money away from you. It's two pounds per ply, and I, I wanted to keep shoving two pounds in there, just because I wanted to feel like I was back in those battles, because they were so fucking immersive. And they didn't even look as good as this game does. So maybe that alone will keep people coming back. But if if the Battle of Hoth is the only map that is as good as that, are people going to keep coming back to it? No! No, they're not! Do I blame them? No, I wouldn't. It's one map over and over again. Like, only one type of game can really get away with doing that and having it work. And that's a MOBA. Why? Because like each champion is different, each build is different, each game you play, it's the same map, but it always feels like a new experience. Um, and let's be honest here, FPS don't have that luxury. Um, FPS will never have that luxury. Oh, you can't deploy more than one. What's a thermal imploder? Sounds amazing. I want to use it on one of those. <laughs> Whoa! Great 
There we go. Sweet. So yeah, there, there are the two game modes. Wow, I didn't realize Meet EA picture was still the first fucking time I ever tried digital art when I was like 10. Great news, Sam. Your embarrassment's now online for everyone to see. But yeah, no, uh, that's Battlefront. That's what I think about it. I'm, I'm concerned, as I think everyone should be. But I'm happy for now. I'll keep on playing it if my opinions change and the video will go up. If my opinions don't change, some fun videos might go up. Who knows? Um, but yeah, there we go. That's, that's, that's Battlefront. I'm very happy with it so far. Um, I, uh, I, I can't express enough how much I want this game to be phenomenal. Um, which means uh, as time goes on and as the game comes out, I will more than likely buy it. We'll see. Um, if it's not as good as I want it to be, or if it is bad, especially if it's bad, I will come down on this game like a ton of breaks and I'm sure many Star Wars fans will as well EA needs to be aware of this I think they are aware of this I think DICE are big Star Wars fans and they want to deliver the game that we all want but yeah so initial impressions good keep it up because once the game's out it better not just be fucking Walker Assault everyone's playing there needs to be more Thank you very much for watching. I've been Sam. Goodbye.